Good evening, it's Thursday. I do admit I'm recording this before the worship services, so I have to tell you, I'm really excited. But let's get to our devotion for this evening. Our devotion this evening as we turn in for the night is taken from Matthew chapter 7, verses 24 and following. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down and the streams rose and winds blew and beat against the house, yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rains came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching because he taught as one who had authority and not as their teachers of the law. It doesn't take a genius to understand that rock is stronger than sand. And yet, you would think that you wouldn't have to say these things. But again, year after year, I think all of us are surprised by some of the things that individuals do that just completely take us by surprise. That we see the decisions that our children make and we wonder, why did you do that? Well, because they're learning. They didn't know. And generally speaking, that is what happens when we see someone doing something they ought not to do. They're being unwise because no one has told them any better. Or they think they know, which is more dangerous, and so they just go ahead and do what they want to do. For instance, let's use the example in our lesson for today. I could clearly see an individual saying, well, I don't want to build my house on a rock. That's not where I get the best view of the ocean. I want my house to be right here, right on the sand. And you can have somebody warning this person, well, you don't want to do it there. I mean, what happens if there's a tidal wave? What happens if there's a hurricane? What happens if the tide comes up too far? What happens if this and that and the next thing? But if you've ever run into a person like this who thinks they, knows all, they think they know all the answers, they just look at you and say, whatever. You don't know what you're talking about. And that's what Jesus is speaking of, isn't it? That the wise man, he builds upon a foundation that he understands will not move, that when he sees the winds and the rains crash against that house, it remains solidly in place because the foundation is sure. Now, the person who thinks that they know, they built on a shaky foundation. When the winds and the waves beat against that house, well, what happens with sand when a little rain falls? It moves quite easily. And when your house is built on a moving foundation, it does not take long for the entire building to all of a sudden crumble, crack, creak, and fall. Now, Again, just like on Tuesday when God wasn't talking to us about which trees to trim and which trees not to trim, this is yet another illustration which Jesus gives to us to make us understand to build on the solid foundation of the Word of God. We have to realize and understand that when we hear something, we can't just merely think we know. We need to cross-reference it to what God's Word says, because God's Word is truth. And if we just whimsically go through life thinking, Oh, I've always believed this. I don't know why I've always believed this. I can't even find in the God's Word why I believe this. All of a sudden, you're in for one of those wind-beaten, water-rushing, eroding, crashing down experiences. Because when we don't have our foundation, which is built on something that is sure, inevitably, your building will fall. It may not happen today. It may not happen tomorrow. But when things get bad, it will fall. My friends, 
Jesus Christ is the sure foundation. We sing it in our hymns, we read about it in the word, and we believe it in our hearts. And so as we move throughout this week, let us take heart in knowing that Jesus Christ is our sure foundation and upon him we build. We go back when we stumble and fall. We find comfort when we don't know which direction to go. And we seek direction from Christ and from Christ alone. For it is Christ who has died, risen, and is coming again. And this evening we celebrate his ascension. And that means that all things have been placed under his feet. He is in control of all things. And so the one who has died for us and has risen for us has now ascended for us and has now gone to prepare a place for us to, so that he can take us to be with him. So we are with him forevermore. Thanks be to God that Christ Jesus is our sure foundation and upon that foundation we build. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, help us get over ourselves in thinking about what is the best thing to do. So often our ideas conflict with your word. Help us refrain from putting our ideas in conflict with your word and instead turning to you and finding complete harmony in our choices, in our lifestyles, and in our actions. We ask that you would forgive us of the times in which we have fallen into sin and we have run into different kinds of dangers or troubles because of our sins. Help us revert back to that rock-solid foundation that you have given us in your word, where we can find comfort, peace, and the message of our Savior, Jesus. We ask this all in his name, and in his name we join you pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. God bless you. We will see each other again. And I can't wait to share with you my true emotions after I experience all that's going to be going on later this day since I'm recording this early. I can't wait to see you guys in worship. So God's blessings to all of you and hopefully we'll see each other on Sunday as well. God be with you until then.